Most people believe that if they have an expensive boiler, then that should mean that it's going to live longer and give them less headaches over time. And although, yes, the quality of the boiler is important, it's not the number one most important thing in my opinion. So if you watch this video, I'm going to give you my take on it and I'm going to give you some tips on what you can do to help your boiler live longer. My name's Jamie, I'm the heating guy and I hope you enjoy the video. So what kills boilers? Well, it's actually the central heating system that's connected to it. Because in this country, we have steel radiators and steel radiators corrode. So if the system isn't set up right, then the radiators literally rust from the inside out and all of that rust and debris gets into the boiler, clogs up all of the moving parts and leads to breakdown. But if we set it up right, then that corrosion process can be slowed down and it can help that boiler live longer. So what do you need to do? Well, first of all, if the central heating system water is dirty, you need to get rid of that water and refresh it with clean water. Now, sometimes the system can be that dirty that simply just refreshing the water isn't gonna be good enough, in which case you need to do something on it called a power flush or another form of uh, clean, which is called a magna cleanse. And that's gonna get rid of all of that de debris um, and basically strip all of the sludge which is on the radiators or in the pipe work, get rid of it so that it then can't get into the boiler and infect it. Now that's my number one um, resolution to the problem is just simply by keeping the central heating system clean. Uh, so that would be your first step. If you've got dirty system water, you need to get it clean. The second thing to do is we need to change the chemical makeup of the water so that it's more difficult for that corrosion process to occur. And the easiest way to do that is by adding something to the system called inhibitor. So this is uh, an inhibitor made by a company called Fernox. Um, it's about 15 quid a bottle. And this is gonna change that chemical makeup of the water by changing its pH levels, changing the conductivity and all this other scientific stuff, which then slows that corrosion process down. Now, if you've got inhibitor and you've had an inhibitor in your system for a long period of time, the inhibitor actually stops working over a period of time, breaks down, and then that then can contribute towards the corrosion process actually speeding up. So good idea to get rid of that water, get some fresh water in, and put some inhibitor. The next thing you do, and this shouldn't be relied on as its sole line of defense, is have something installed called a magnetic filter. Now obviously the steel radiators um, rust and that rust is magnetic. So if we put a, a magnetic filter in line just before the boiler, it comes through this filter and this magnet here attracts all of that rust, keeps it in this filter, and then prevents it from getting into the boiler and helping it live longer. So if you haven't got one of these installed, then you should definitely get one of these installed. But like I said, this shouldn't be the main line of defense. And then from then ongoing, you get your service engineer just to keep a record of how good the water's uh, looking visually. And also you can get testing on the system to make sure that corrosion isn't occurring. And obviously if you do that, then you can act on it pretty quickly. So there's a few things for you to think about. I don't want this video to go on much longer. That's all you really need to know, the fundamentals of helping your boiler live longer. If you do all of these things, then you are gonna be doing your best to help that boiler live as long as possible. And then you're gonna be relying on the quality of the boiler. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then please give me a thumbs up so that you know that the so that I know then that the content I'm putting out is is useful to you. If you want to hear more from me, then you can hit that subscribe button and you'll get my new videos as they come out. Thanks for your time for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.